If you wondered whether the town would pack the stands at Columbia Middle for the big rematch between undefeated Grovetown and second place Columbia, wonder no more because the students and fans were there, packing signs on the Grovetown side and custom made white out t-shirts on the Columbia side. But this game was about much more than fanfare. It was about the county's best settling a score with the top spot at stake. The game began with both teams exploiting their strengths. Columbia seemed to start on a dead sprint as Christian Chambers and Julius Brown got off to a fast start. Grovetown's twin towers connected for an easy basket. But Grovetown got careless with the basketball and went a long stretch without getting the ball inside. Columbia capitalized as Nolan Short ran the floor and crashed the offensive glass and Chambers continued to pour in the points en route to a 12-4 Columbia lead. But Grovetown found Williams in the second quarter. This young man scores almost every time he touches the ball. Seventh grader Ricky McGee started making an impact and during the second and third quarters, Grovetown tied the game three different times, but the Patriots never took a lead. Each time the gap was closed, the Raiders had an answer. First, Nolan Short and Christian Chambers. Next, Julius Brown. Finish, baby, finish. Oh, baby. And after the Patriots once again tied the game at 38, Columbia's Christian Chambers exploded, going on a scoring run that included several threes. They came so fast, I only caught one. <laughs> and the end of another. But I got enough of Chambers' spurt to give you the picture. That picture included 33 Christian Chambers points and a 57-46 Columbia Middle School win that moves the Raiders into a tie for first place with Grovetown with six games remaining. So far this week, I've seen a wide range of teams at various stages in their development. Columbia County was once a basketball afterthought. But thanks to players like Chambers and Williams, and thanks to the great support these teams get, a Columbia County Middle School game is now the place for basketball fans to be. At least it was Thursday. <laughs>